How would I learn NeoVim if I had to start again in 2025? Here's how. Now, the first thing I'd do is I would jump on Vim Adventures. Now, this is just a little game that teaches you all the buttons and how to navigate through a little fun game using the Vim motions. So you can't use up and down arrow keys, use HJKNL, and this will teach you the basic movements. Similarly, when you get to different parts, you'll learn other things. For example, it introduces the keys to you. So while you'll start using HJKNL, then you'll navigate through and you'll learn stuff like the W key. And this will teach you, you can navigate through by pressing WW to get to the end of words, etc., etc. until it's basically introduced you all the very basic motions. This is great. So for the rest of this video, I'm going to assume that you've either followed one of my videos to get your NeoVim set up, or you followed somebody else's videos and you at least know how to install a plugin. So here's the first plugin we're going to be using, Hard Time. Now this is a little plugin that's supposed to help you break bad habits. So when you try to do something that you should be using something else for, it will tell you off. I'll show you a little example. So this plugin basically just tries to instill good habits in your NeoVim sort of navigation. So if I just try to press hold J and go down, it won't let me, it'll say, you know, you should use count J to go down or control D to go down. So control D obviously, skipping a couple of lines and control. And if I try to do the same and I try to go up with, with K, it's going to tell me off again. You have to use count K or control U to scroll up. Similarly, if I want to change inside these quotes, I can do CI quotes, for example, and then I'm changing it. Now, if I accidentally did something else like delete inside the quotes and then entered insert mode, it's going to tell me off. What are you doing using delete inside quotes insert mode? You should use change inside quotes. So basically any little thing like that, it'll instill a couple of good habits in you. Some of the things it covers is like relative jumping, control U, control D, uh, word motion, things like that. Now, a good plugin to pair this with is precognition. Now, what precognition does is it just shows you where horizontal motions will take you and vertical motions. So, for example, if I just quickly install this, so if I just jump into the same files before, my LSP file, and, I, and if we just look here, if I press GG, just like it says there, it's going to take me here. If I press curly brace, it's going to take me here. If I press zero, it's going to take me here, et cetera, et cetera. So, for example, if I'm on this line here, so for example, if I'm here in this line, it's going to tell me exactly if I press capital E, it's going to take me to the end of the line here. If I press zero, it's going to take me to here. Carrot it's going to take me here, et cetera, et cetera. So this is a little good one to have as you're just getting used to the motions. So you know exactly where the next motion is going to take you. Like you'll teach dollar sign to the end, zero here, word here, end of the word here, back, et cetera, et cetera. Just another one for helping you learn the motions. And you can obviously toggle these plugins if you don't want them on all time. You can do like hard time toggle and precognition toggle if you want to get rid of these temporarily if they're getting in the way you work. So the last plugin we're going to cover is Vimby Good by the Prime Gen. Now this is a great plugin for sort of playing some games and learning how to do it. So once you've installed it, if you do Vimby Good. Uh, it's got tons of games here which teach you different things. So like this is words, you got change inside, you got relative line number jumping, you got HJK line motions. Uh, so if we, and you can also change difficulty. So if we go to the noob mode, and we play the word game, it's going to start the game and basically it's going to tell us use W and delete word to delete the different word in the line. So obviously something you could do is word, 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 delete word, word, delete word. But you can also do it like three word, delete word, or dollar sign back, delete word, etc. So this is basically just teaching you like quick ways to get to words and delete them. So I could do two W here and delete word. I can do four W here and delete word. I can do delete word. So it's bit, and it's basically timing you. It gives you a score at the end. So I hope that helps in your journey to learn Vim motions today. If you need help setting up your NeoVim config, I've got a couple of videos on my channel and you can also check out some other videos by some other great content creators here on YouTube. I'm sure you'll find everything you need. See you later.